Hi and welcome back, my name is George. Providing links across documents is a very efficient way of redirecting your readers to the information they need to find. By adding hyperlinks within your documents, it not only makes them more efficient, but it also adds more depth by providing the research and the sources that you've used to create your document. In our last video, we presented how to add the links in a PDF using PDF Element for Windows. And in today's video, we're gonna learn how to do the exact same thing, but using PDF Element for Mac. Welcome back to the PDF Element channel. Much like using hyperlinks on the internet, using any kind of link will allow you to jump to a specific PDF file, any page within the same file, or even to a website. This allows for ease of accessing important data and also access to information in the document and to external sites. In the Mac version of PDF Element, we're gonna be using two different methods to do this. Before we get started, please make sure you've got PDF Element downloaded from the Wondershare PDF site. You can go over there and download your free version right now. Just follow the link in the description below. First, we're going to create a hyperlink within PDF. Adding a hyperlink to your PDF file will create an interactive area within your document that will allow readers to navigate to different web pages that are related to your document with a simple click. To create a hyperlink using PDF element, go to the edit section at the top. And then we're gonna select the link option. In the right panel, select the web option. Visit the website that you want to link in your document and copy the address that displays in your browser. Now we're going to go back to PDF element and we're going to use our cursor to select this area of the document that we want to create the link to the website. In the right panel, paste the address that you just copied from your browser into the box. Now you will see that that area you selected shows a caption where you can see the address of the website, which this area will redirect you to. The caption will only be visible when using the link tool. Within this options window, we can also define if we want the link area to be visible or not. If you decided to make the link area visible, select the type of line that you'd like to frame the area. From here, we can also set the line thickness that we want, select a color of our line, and when we are in the reading mode or just with the link tool disabled, there will be no caption displaying the hyperlink. But when we hover over this clickable area, a text box will appear where we can see the link destination address. In order to protect your security when you click on this link area, PDF Element will ask you whether you want to visit the website or not. Once you have clicked on open, your browser will open and show you the destination address you provided. Do you see just how easy it is to make hyperlinks within PDFs? Use this feature as much as necessary and your readers will thank you for it. Next, we're going to learn how to add a link and jump to a page view. Creating interactive areas within a document that let us navigate through our document will make our readers' experience much more pleasurable when interacting with our documents. And it also helps create a rewarding sense of interactivity. With PDF Element, we can add hyperlinks in PDF to another page, and here I'm going to show you how. First, we're going to go up to the edit section and click on link. Use the cursor to select the area of the document that we want to redirect to another part of the file. In the right panel, set the destination page to which the document will redirect when you click on this area. You can use the pointer on the page preview in this panel to set an exact target location. We can then choose on whether we want the link area to be framed or not. If you chose to display the framed area, select the type of line you want to display. And then we can also choose the thickness and color of our line. As with our web hyperlinks, as long as you have the link tool activated, you'll be able to see a title within the area indicating the destination location of that area. Remember, you can hover over this link area to see where this link will take you. By clicking on the link area, PDF Element will immediately redirect you to the destination location. This will greatly facilitate navigation within your document. Did you notice just how easy this task was to do? Now we're going to move on to the third part. And this third part is how to edit or delete our links. If for some reason you make a mistake while creating a link, it's very easy to fix. The first thing we have to do is activate the link option, which is located up here in the edit section. With the link tool active, you'll be able to easily see the links you have created in your document. Right click on the link you want to remove and select delete. And if you simply want to modify it, you can do it through this right panel. Voila, in just a couple of simple steps, we have very simply removed our link of choice. Do you see just how easy it is to do all of this using PDF element? We all love the advantages of working with digital documents like this. And thanks to these dynamic features that facilitate and complement our reading experience, these links are a clear example of this. By adding links to our PDF documents, we create an immersive reading experience. And with just one simple click, our readers can navigate through our document to other web pages or other documents. We hope this tutorial has been very useful for you on your PDF element journey. If you like this tutorial, it would really help us out if you considered liking this video and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss future PDF element tutorials. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments below and we'll have many more videos in the coming days so that you can get your questions answered. See you soon in the next video.